Hey guys, so I actually made it to church early this time. Normally I like to sleep in a little bit, get a full breakfast, but today I decided to get here a little bit early because I needed some Jesus, so. Amen. So in small cities like this, I'm not sure why I have some weird glow action going on. Oh, my, my camera is fogged out. All right, so in small cities like this, you typically get maybe a handful, maybe a baker's dozen if you're lucky, but let's see what's happening. job I actually work with a pastor and from time to time he'll ask me questions. One question in particular that he asked me that was like ouch he was like hey James so what did your pastor talk about in the sermon? Yeah so that was rough. So I don't always pay attention in church but when I do I normally take a few notes. So today I'm just going to go over those notes today. Hopefully you guys can receive a blessing Maybe for some of you guys that haven't gone to church in a while or have never gotten any truth, I'm about to drop some truth on you today, baby. Yeah. Okay, so pastor's message was on belonging to the family of God. And we all can belong to the family of God. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So pastor reminded us, oh, so eloquently that we don't need to focus on the behavior, but the Savior. Don't want to focus on the sin, but on Jesus. Isaiah 1, 18 through 20, tells us to reason together, and I think the best reasoning is with Jesus, amen? Forgiveness, so the pastor said something very interesting to us today. He said, he told us that when we forgive, we give something to God, right? We're forgiving, we're, we're giving this burden upon our heart away. And if I have this burden upon my heart, I don't forgive someone, I have no room, no room for any blessings. So I must get rid of this situation right here. So my hands are open. My hands are open to receive the blessing that he has for us. Amen. That makes sense to me. Hope you guys are following along. All right. So your hands are free to receive a blessing. So don't judge lest you be judged. All right. That comes later in this situation. So not forgiving others could be a salvation issue. It could keep you from the kingdom. And being prideful. Prideful, pride comes before the fall. Pride could also keep you from out of the kingdom. Okay? So the final words that we see Jesus talking about on the mount, the Sermon on the Mount, is that the people in the kingdom will be like Jesus. They will have certain characteristics that we must look at carefully, right? I think uh, the Sermon on the Mount, he spoke about the Beatitudes, which are in Matthew chapter 5, okay? Now, how you see Jesus is very important. How you see Jesus is very important. Because, let's say Jesus comes very soon, which he is. He comes soon, he's in the clouds. Five minutes after he appears in the clouds, what's going to happen? There's two situations, right? There's those people that see Jesus as a wonderful, mighty, counselor, prince of peace. Wonderful, right? Those are people that probably most likely have a close, intimate relationship with Jesus. And that's what it's all about. Those are the people that will be saved. Then you have another school of people that maybe weren't taught correctly. Maybe they never knew Jesus. Maybe they think that he is a terrible dictator. No love. A 
rend revengeful, wrathful being in the sky, right? So those people probably will not make it. So my advice to you guys is to become very intimate with Jesus, all right? Okay. And I, I will say that I'm not perfect. Many people in the church right now are not perfect. Don't judge whether you want to go to church based on the actions of other folks against you. Because the church is not a hospital for the well. It's the hospital for the sick, the spiritually sick, right? So we need help. We need Jesus. I know I need Jesus. I know I'm preaching to somebody right about now. All right. So hypocrite in Greek actually means like actor or pretender. So I know we got some, some haterade, we got some pretenders and fakers all up in the church, right? Some double-minded, redeemless mother chuckers, all right? James 5, 1, I think James 4, 8 talks about some of these situations on, on how we should be. So hypocrites, um, you know, they may be the boasters. The boasters and the coasters. <laughs> yeah, so hypocrites think they are all right with God. They got it all together, like, psh, psh, you know? Hypocrites trample the truth for their own benefit. So don't be a hypocrite. Just be willing to receive the counsels of God. Pastor is telling us there are three steps or three stages to enter into the intimate relationship with God. These three steps can be used to get closer to God. The first one is to become born again. Heart must be changed, heart change. And how do we become born again? Well, we can't go with the large crowd on the, the wide and, and wavy road. we got to go on the straight and narrow road. Back in the day, I guess, the shepherds had fences, and they'd keep their sheep inside of the fences, right? And maybe there'd be small openings for the sheep to go in and go out. You know, a small gateway that maybe larger predators and animals could not go through. So stay on the straight and narrow so that things of the world cannot enter, right? Amen. So number two, uh, there is a point of good trees and bad trees. Good trees produce good fruit. Bad trees produce bad fruit. So if you meditate on the law, which can be found in Exodus 20 verse 8, you can too be a good tree. And good trees produce good fruit. So maybe you're asking, what is fruit? Fruit is how you and I live our lives. It's like the evidence of things in our lives. So, let's say that you shoot people with assault rifles. You cuss people out. You are just a mean, terrible person. That would maybe be an example of bad fruits. Perhaps you visit people in jails. Perhaps you visit the aunties and the uncles with curry in a hurry. Perhaps you say kind, encouraging words to people like me on the street. Perhaps you give free hugs to James Parks. That could be an example of good fruits. So good fruit is evidence of what's going on on the inside. The way we treat other people in any given moment is a direct reflection of how we are feeling in the inside. Can I get a witness? Amen. All right, so number three is that our fruits are not because we're trying to buy or pay our way into heaven for some type of reason. No. 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 These good fruits are a result of our relationship with Jesus. Amen? So, because we love Jesus, we want to do all kinds of wonderful, good things to our brothers and sisters. Because everyone is a, a gift from God. Everyone is, uh, is made marvelous, mar marva, marvelously and wonderfully made. Something like that. So, in Psalm 139... Verse, uh, I want to say, it is verse 14. 139 verse 14 tells us that God made, made us uh, marvelously and wonderfully made. i just trying to get my words together here. Anyways, just look it up. Look it up yourselves. Alright, so it's a relationship of ourselves to God. And we want to build our relationship upon the rock. We want to become intimate with God so no matter what happens, we are with Jesus in all kinds of ways. Amen. So pastor also tells us, judge not lest you be judged. And we should not be judged because other people will judge us with the same thing. Let's say I say that a, that someone is very loving and they're the best person ever. If I'm pointing at that person and telling them what they are, 
you best guarantee there's four fingers pointing right back at my face telling me that I am a wonderful, awesome, kind individual. So we should not judge others, but uh, why not be a fruit inspector if you know what I mean? So yeah, seeing people how they live their lives and you know, we shall know them by their fruits. So let's just err on the side of mercy, you know, give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, person may not be dressing the proper way in church. That's no reason for us to judge them and be like, hey, change. They could be a visitor. Maybe they don't know that we want to put the best foot forward and, and dress and the way we put ourselves out to the public. Like, that's no reason to judge someone. It's people like that, that judge folk, that cast and turn a lot of people away. Because when you judge people, someone coming in, they're like, first of all, I was just trying to check out what this was. And you know what? With your attitude, I don't even want to be here right now. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, so Galatians 5 tells us about the fruits of the Spirit. Also, uh, Matthew 5, check that out. So all the characteristics, these fruits show a connection to Jesus and the condition of the heart. All right? So because we want to do good things for Jesus and we love him, we need to use our talents and use our skills to grow ourselves and grow others. Amen? So we want to be commandment-keeping people, keep a relationship with Jesus, and without... So, yeah. So rules with a relationship. Relationship, you follow the rules and you love Jesus. But rules without a relationship always end up in rebellion. It's like, wait a minute. Who do you love? All right? So good works don't buy salvation, but salvation. With salvation, you will treat others with respect, and you'll treat others good. I'm not perfect, so don't look to me. Look to Jesus. I hope you guys received some sustenance, some spiritual sustenance, some truth today. I hope this video isn't too long, and God bless. Everybody wants to go to heaven, and oh, hex yeah. Hope to see you guys very soon. Amen. You guys want the eight laws of health? Well, here you go. New start. Come get it.
it's now a moment in nature. Genesis 2 Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth.